let me be clear, a judge simply follows the law. A judge does not make the law, that's for your legislature, that's for your elected officials, that is not for a judge. When you have a dispute, so you're an Okeechobee citizen having a dispute with another Okeechobee citizen or otherwise, but it's an Okeechobee dispute, you just simply want to know that when you go into court, you're going to be heard and that that person's going to follow the law and apply the law. You don't want to think, oh wow, does she have friends or does she uh, have an opinion on this or she's not going to uphold the law? No, you go there to have it decided and decided according to the law. So my philosophy is, it's very simple, set aside your personal views and follow the law. You indicated that it was very important that you had grown up here and that you know the community, you know the families. Uh, what is your tie to this community? Uh, Okie Chubby's home. It's always been home. Wherever I was, whatever I did, I was always so proud to say, I'm from Okie Chubby, and I still say that, and I will always say that. Go up this road right here, and just keep traveling on the Beavine Trail, and you get to Mama's place. And purchased in 1963 and I was just talking to Marshall Pitts about this. He remembers the day that my dad went into his office at the Southland Hotel and Daddy said, is there some land here for me to buy? And he purchased Edgar Thomas's land. And he told me all kinds of stories. This is just yesterday um, about the purchase of Hooker Ranch. And Okeechobee's home, 